This is a video to show you uh, that the USDX is now capable of uh, <coughs> transmitting on. I won't be providing only three uh, three bands, but maybe I'll be providing all the five, six bands or eight bands uh, with IRF amplifier. Uh, so it will be giving around 50, 60 to 50, 50 watts around in 7 megahertz and around 35 to 40 watts on 20. Uh, so I'll basically when this filter is complete for all bands so I'll put this up so basically this will be with the amplifier so if you want to use it individually the power still will be less but with the amplifier you are going to get now this USDX it will operate um, now with all the bands and give you a good power initially there was some problems but I've changed it now uh, now I'm using a different setup uh, the filter uh, filter has been changed so I can show you the filter here. This is a filter. So you, I need that uh, different filters for all bands. I'm not using the resonant filter. So this filter is a bit different. I've got a pre-amplifier uh, to drive the MOSFET. The reason being that the output of uh, the USDX is not um, sufficient enough since I'm using uh, uh, the uh, low pass filter uh, used as in VITX and uh, other transceivers. So this is not the resonant filter. So that is the reason. So but now it is good, the CW is performing optimum, SSB is good and I think so I can use digital modes also and no fear of uh, uh, the MOSFET going QRT. So I think so uh, this have be, has been a bit of achievement. So now we can expect that uh, this uh, rig can work on all the six bands. Actually I am just testing this so you may see that this linear is um, lying upside down or something. So. I'll test it now. I, just in the testing mode, I'm just testing it out. So I'll switch on this amp. Now I'll transmit. Uh, no. See, I'm transmitting. I'm using the box. Uh, the box is on. When you see the V, it means that the box is on. So I'm uh, transmitting now. And I'm a couple of feet away uh, from the USDX. Still, it can. The mic is so sensitive, it can. Uh, the mic circuit is so sensitive it can hear my voice a couple of feet away. So here's it. Uh, I am on the 200 watt range. So now let me move this a bit. It will move up faster. Uh, 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 see it's nearing 50 watts. Uh, 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 see I am on 200 watts range. Forward position 200 watts range. So if you see this 5, this 5 basically means that uh, we are on 200 watts scale and this 5 is around 50 watts. Uh, uh, now let me stabilize this. Uh, 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 so you see now I'll go for CW. Now let me switch this to CW. Okay, one net. Okay, now I'm on CW. Now let us see. If this is the key. This is the key. This is the key. I, if I press it, I'll be transmitting. Here's it. The range is 200 watts. And I'm nearing 50 watts. You can see the scale. The scale is 200 watt range and we are on near to the 5 that means it is uh, 45 plus it is 45 plus so i'll transmit this a couple of times to show you that the cw is stable mosfet won't blow so i'm transmitting cw the 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 the, 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 the okay the 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 okay you see it's very stable nothing is happening to the mosfet it's very stable i'll touch the heat sink and see it's a moderate hot it's a moderate hot so it's performing good i'm using a driver in between this driver one MOSFET driver in between 
because with this design uh, the low pass filter when i have used the output is not as much as what you get with a, a resonant filter so but this design is good for an external linear because with a resonant filter your mosfet is going to burn uh, and you, you won't be able to use it so uh, with this uh, normal low pass filter that we use in bitx and other bands other transceivers so this is doing a great job with a matching network so i would suggest uh, if any one wants to make he can make this i'll be putting up the details soon so once my setup is complete i'll give the details so and anyone can purchase uh, the transceiver that will be uh, having a usdx it will be having uh, this amplifier and it will be having uh, the antenna tuner everything enclosed in one box i think so it would be something tremendous so uh, let's see uh, how you like the video but it's not on youtube yeah, as yet i've just put it on for you guys to watch so that's it and now let me try once again cw it's been while i've not <laughs> tried it let's see again stable See, it's doing around 50 watts. Solid 45 watts. Now I will like change again this to. Uh, see, I'm on 14 megahertz. I think so. This there is some error in the screen. It is 14 megahertz. Uh, now I will change it to USB. Okay. Uh, no. uh, no. uh, no. uh, no. uh, no. See, it's around 45 plus. Uh, heat sink is moderately hot, moderately hot. No issue. Uh, doing a fine job. So that's it. Uh, this is the demo that I've shown you. Uh, I have to put it. Every, I have to put everything in a proper box with the antenna tuner so this will be a transceiver uh, with all the bands complete will give around uh, for 20 to 50 watts in between uh, with the antenna tuner so maybe we will um, change this to 100 watts later on but we can start off with this uh, amplifier which is already working so i'm see you can see i'm just talking to you uh, i'm just talking to you and the transceiver is being modulated in works mode so thank you and uh, all the best.